picotinho aí. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. I'm a people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing alright. Keep supporting your dreams by showing up despite the occasional doubt. Never forget to enjoy your wins. You are doing great. Keep going. And always remember this. When I always have my support. You understand? Always going to have my support. Anyway, now, people, one only party can get the news. You understand? A 23 year old farmer has been charged with arson after he allegedly set a man's house on fire in St. James on February 3rd. The charge is TJ Holmes, otherwise called TJ. Report reaching on news team from the Montego Bay police that about 7 55 a.m., a man was at home when Holmes attacked him and set his house on fire. The man managed to put out the fire, however, Holmes reportedly set the house ablaze again, which eventually destroyed the dwelling a report was made to the police and guess at the beginning that police them the people them go circle homes and arrest him yeah man monday them go go pick him up after a question and answer segment in the presence of his attorney homes was charged his court date is being finalized ah oh, salah pono should not salah pay more well on the now i'm gonna give you some news from out of the name town detective assigned to the saint andrew's south police division has charged a 28 year old man after he allegedly murdered a woman and injured a child on maxfield avenue kingston on tuesday august 3rd 2021 me and the talk about this so i'm telling you who them charge are who dead the deceased has been identified as 31 year old tanisha roper otherwise called munchie of denham town charged with murder conspiracy to murder wounded with intent illegal position of firearm illegal position of ammo and shooting with intent is cruise nation yes people cruise nation who's supposed to get slapped with charge him a charge him for putting money for gunny and people food anyways let me tell you a little bit more about cruise now cruise a close vendor of Kenil Jive in Kingston. Report reaching on news team from the Cora Police Station on Bay Police Station that about 3.50 p.m. Roper and the child was traveling in a motor car along Maxwell Avenue with Nation and his accomplice drove up beside them, opened gunfire, hitting them. The police were alerted that Roper and the child was taken to the hospital. You understand? Yes, two of them got taken to the hospital at the same time. But guess on the paper? Rope and the dead still are right my eyes them put che. And little Kabini baby was admitted for treatment. An investigation was launched and Nation was arrested. He was charged after interview in the presence of his attorney. While I go with the tell us I never him alone, don't it? So guess what I'm to him accomplice. Police added that about 7.25 p.m. on Tuesday, November 1st, 2022, Nation accomplice was fatally shot during a confrontation with the police. So why the police never put him down to that is all them needed to do, you know. Put down Nation to you understand. Just as all, then put on him a complice. So what I said, I mean what I said. You know me already, and now take him back. Ricardo, a year time now. A man has been charged with wounded intent, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, and the use of an illegal firearm to commit a felony following a shooting incident in Periton, St. Anne's on Wednesday, February 1st. Charge is 37 year old Ricardo Samuel, a construction worker of a Periton, St. Anne address. I will not be there now. If you don't really feel like, say, me bad and my bad got a market to make a sad mistake. Who can't trick me, you know? Who cannot trick me? This name change business here. Who don't feel like who don't want to use? Can't trick somebody else. All construction workers are supposed to get slapped with yeah, man. Who no? We are calling themselves construction worker. Who no labor? Who no can't trick nobody? Anyway, report Richard on news team that about 1 a.m. a man was walking home when he was approached by Samuels and another man. Samuels, the reporter, pointed out the victim to his accomplice who then shot the man. The injured man was taken to the hospital where he was treated. A report was made to the police and Samuel was arrested. He was charged on Monday, February 6th after a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. Because the police them get the food they eat and invite the food man. Tell about the idiot police them. Hold on a bit there now. Kansas Spring Road. Police on Tuesday sees a shotgun and 712 gave cartridges at Park Lane Constant Spring in St. Andrew. The Constant Spring police said about 4.40 p.m. a team of officers conducted operation in the area and during the search of a premises the firearm and armor was found win a crocus bag yes people no arrest was made in connection with the sager anyway now let me tell you about maurice i mean 
thief in police boy Maurice. I'll thief to be exact. Detective Corporal Maurice Whittingham, who is charged in connection with a multi million dollar robbery of a delivery truck carrying cooking oil, was yesterday granted $750,000 bail. At least a boy, I forget no bail. This a police boy, yeah? no forget no bail. Me, I tell you the truth. I found over for half him head. So, what I said, I mean, what I said, I you know me already, people. And now, nah, take you back. Remember, good. A medical gun tell no say, nobody no safe on this a platform. Yeah? So, watch you now. So, from an aisle thief to the police academy, national rapper man. Let me tell you who that now. One of four police constables implicated in the alleged robbery and sexual assault of a female motorist in Black River, St. Elizabeth, has been charged. Yes, people, them charge the old constable boy. Me, I got tell no way, name. Nobody can tell me, sir, don't tell you no. Him name, Halloween Hill. Yes, people, he was charged with five offences based on a ruling delivered from the DPP office. You understand? He has been charged with rape, grievous sexual assault, forcible abduction, corruptly soliciting, and simply larceny. He remains in custody, and a date for him to appear in court is to be decided today. Yes, today, today, today. They're going to tell me when he might go to court. But people, we need to fix the business, you understand? It's alleged that about 10 p.m. on Monday, February 5th, the woman was driving along the Crawford Main Road when she was signaled to stop by members of the police team who was manning a checkpoint. This 26-year-old woman, whose name is being held, allegedly offered the cop $7,000, which she had on her to avoid being ticketed. But they demanded $50,000. Imagine this paper, she get raped on a bag of things, and guess what? She still got paid the fine, you understand? According to the report, the cop took the woman to the ATM in Black River, where she attempted to withdraw 50000 but was unsuccessful. She was then told by one of the cops to drive to a nearby supermarket, where she was taken to the back of the building. The constable allegedly raped her and threatened to kill her if she reported it. The constable also used her debit card to purchase some items. The woman over reported the matter to Santa Cruz Police Station, where arrangements were made for her to be medically examined. The four constables were taken into custody, but three has since been released. You understand? How are them supposed to get slapped with? So what I said, and I mean what I said, I had no me already, and now take him back. I said, people, them kill Mas Kenrick, you know. Yeah, man, them kill Mas Kenrick. Let me tell you about that. A talk separator was shot and killed by gunman in Great Pond, Ochoa, St. Anne on Tuesday evening. He has been identified as 62-year-old Kenrick Emmanuel Minot. Yes, people, Mas Kenrick of Great Pond in Ochi. Police report that about 8.45 p.m., gunman boarded Minot taxi, a pro box, yes, on top pro box, if you understand, posing as passengers and attempt to rob him of his vehicle. He's reported that. Mr. Kenrick resist and was shot. He was then reportedly forced from the vehicle. Me tell you the truth, you know. Mr. Kenrick can put up a fight, you know. But guess what? Then push him out the door and shoot him again. Yes, paper. You all dirty criminal boy, them. People, I'm not going to tell you no lie now. Mr. Kenrick a good man, you know. Regular the people, them now no fear. And them, I'm going to carry them. See them, we have to watch you. And so me get my blessing. So me a carry you, know. And people, yeah, man, them just come and pick up Mr. Kenrick. And that was it. Can Mr. Kenrick go put Mr. Kenrick on ice? And the man them guard in pro box. You all dirty boy them. Guard with Mr. Kenrick pro box. Anyway, I can go to some more news. Me know say everybody keep my kind of wonder. How comes my video come give me the exclusive out of River Tan yet? Me soon give it to the man. I don't just have to wait. You understand? Member, member good. Me know exactly what go on. Little Bill did have gun. Yes, him did have gun. You understand? Them catch him with gun. That is that. That is true. Me not go tell a lie and pick up for nobody. Member, member good. Nobody not safe on the platform. So the police say, you know, say, Javid Davy and Richard Davidson are the two of them dead. That are them correct name, you understand? That the pan them bird paper. That are the name of the woman and them papa give them. So man, this is tell us something yesterday. And Kirk Richards are come tell us something right now. But let me tell you something. The police them from Huntsby Police Station still a big side. You understand? This is what them now go tell you, you know what? Me are telling you the truth. Them still a big side. You are going for what are going. Come Kirk, come tell the people them. The officers, of course, took evasive action, and at the end of the attack, two males were found suffering from gunshot wounds. Two firearms recovered. Both individuals were rushed to the hospital where they were pronounced dead by doctors on duty. Uh, both deceased men are known to the police as members of the King Kong Killers gang, located uh, in an area of Riverton called Blue Windows. Uh, this gang is in conflict with the Blingers and the Gullibank gang and known to be actively engaged in murders, shootings and extortion activities on the dump. In fact, one of the two men who were fatally shot uh, last evening uh, was a 
person of interest in at least three murders in the Riverton City community. This community is inundated with gangs and gang type activities. The area where my officers came under attack last night uh, was poorly lit, dirt track, zinc fences on either side. Uh, this area is known to be a conflict zone dominated by the, the Blingers gang and the, the King Kong Killers gang.